We are after a fifth round, the quarter, the rank is just open with Ivan Sharic, who scored another victory and this hundred percent right now. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. How was the tournament so far for you? How do you evaluate your performance, uh, winning all the games? But how was the chess? Uh, well, I'm very happy with winning all five games, uh, but it wasn't very smooth, especially the first round. It was the game should have ended the draw and. Uh, I had a bit, lit, little bit of luck and then I won and uh, let's say game two and three went mm -hmm. smoothly although it was still a fight and uh, in the morning I I entered some drawish endgame, completely drawish and I, I already thought uh, that the game will end in a draw and somehow quickly in like two moves from, from that draw it ended up in uh, winning for me and uh, uh, I managed to convert it and today was, I mean, today afternoon was the toughest game so far. Uh, it was very complicated and tense game. Uh, during the game, it was around equal, then he blundered a pawn, but even after that blunder, he had a very nice compensation. And probably the game should end in a draw, although, I mean, what he did, the moves he played seemed natural to me mm -hmm. as well, and mine too, and somehow I, I just kept playing and playing, and I won the game, but uh, I'm not sure how. <laughs> uh, you like are in surprised. The end, position, yeah, like the position won itself, but it's, it was a bit shocking as uh, when we entered the Queen Endgame, I was pawn up, but he had uh, very dangerous pawns, and uh, I had to be also careful not to lose that position, so... And now you had also another queen endgame against Mohamed Muradli. Uh, was there a chance for him to save this endgame or was it clearly winning for you? No, I way? have no idea. <laughs> As I said, when we entered, I thought it's much more closer yes. to a draw than to a victory. But then uh, when I finally managed to bring my king uh, on the queen mm -hmm. side to stop his pawns, then, then it's probably lost. Since mm -hmm. uh, suddenly I have an easy plan of pushing the pawns and uh, Mm -hmm. And every opponent game is winning for me, so that was uh, uh, the crucial thing. And in the end, uh, there were some still massive complications. Uh, I had to calculate some lines with the uh, one minute on the clock where we Crazy. both promote second queen and uh, also he can promote knight with the check. But I think I'm winning there, so mm -hmm. uh, instead he went to for perpetual, but it looks like uh, my king uh, has... Uh, enough squares to, to avoid perpetual. Which time is it you playing here in Karlsruhe at the Grenke just open? I think I've played uh, maybe all Grenke just open wow. in Karlsruhe. I think and since one, 2000. And one in Dijtsa Ah, so you played the Neckar Open when it was back then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you were waiting for the chess open I never, finally? <laughs> yeah, I've never uh, been really satisfied with, with my result at the Grenke Open. Maybe I had like two times top 10, but it wasn't very good. I I think I never started with five out of five. Four out of four was maximum so far, mm -hmm. and it looks good. So the last two days are crucial. I mean, today, I've, actually, after the morning game, I felt like we played uh, 10 games and not only four, since the, the schedule is very tough. And uh, I didn't have some short games there. They are all very long for five hours, so every day it's like this. It's not very usual to have so many chess players at one place. How does it feel for you to have so many spectators and uh, everyone here? Because we have over 2,600 participants, which uh, is the biggest chess tournament for yeah, these more days it's, in the world. Yeah, uh, it's unusual. Uh, I've been to t tournaments with some similar uh, numbers and audience, but not not this big actually. And uh, it, actually, I like it when with so many players. Uh, the pairings are usually very late, especially the the afternoon game. So my opponents don't have any time to prepare, and uh, I I prefer this to play chess without uh, any preparation. Uh, I mean, not with with my knowledge of mm -hmm. of openings, but just not. Uh, not specifically for a, for a player, and uh, so far it's, it's go, it's go, it goes good. But you prepare for the morning round, right? So very a little, bit. <laughs> little uh, like maybe half an hour. The max. sleep is the best preparation. Yes, yes. 
since you already were already over 2700 is what is your current goal in chess do you want to again get back there yes probably that would be my my nearest goal let's say to go back to 27 although it's even if you reach it it's very hard to keep it uh, if you play with the low rated opponents which i'm usually playing and uh, to keep 27 you have to play all the time with players 26 50 and more and i have uh, my opponents have um, <laughs> much uh, uh, low rated ratings and uh, I have all kinds of opponents, so... And if it's not a secret, could you share if you're working with Magnus? No. <laughs> not, not a secret or not working? <laughs> or you cannot share? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not working, yeah. Ah, okay. All I right. don't know where, <laughs> where you heard this. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, so, what are your plans after the Granke? Uh, after the Granke, I've played a couple of uh, league events uh, mm -hmm. in Europe and... Uh, my next big tournament is the Grand Chess Tour in Zagreb in July and that's the tournament I'm most uh, looking forward to. Ivan, I send to you very best wishes from Agen Mater. Uh, it's, I'm glad to hear it and I wish him uh, the best too. Thank you.